Hey everybody, it is a beautiful wintry April day. I thought I would show you my new purchase, which is a Grover automatic lamb feeder. Yes, it was an investment, and yes, it's been on the wish list for quite a few years. I just never really thought I could justify it with a handful of lambs here and there. Since I've uh, changed to this new breeding system, the groups are a whole lot bigger. And with that, if you do have multiples with it, multiples being over twins, then all of a sudden, I have a lot of a lot of bottle babies and I was not keeping up. I was failing miserably. I think at one point I was, I think I was around 26 bottle lambs and I was losing, I was losing one like every day. It, I just could not keep up. The good ones would get on the pail, the nipple pail. I would transition them onto a bottle and then the bottle onto a nursing pail. So a, a pail with five nipples on the bottom. And they just were not, if they were weak at all, which typically they are when I grab them, um, they just couldn't compete with the ones that were strong. And when you're busy still trying to finish lambing groups, all of a sudden you miss it too. So I was just becoming a poor manager pretty quick of all these bottle babies. So we did make the decision on buying this machine and then winter decided to come again. This building is not insulated. And when it's cold outside, it's cold inside. During the day, it's it's okay, it stays above zero, but at night, if it's minus 10 outside, it's, it's under zero inside. And that machine needs to be, the water needs to be not frozen. The machine needs to be not frozen, so. We had it going for like two days, and we were like, back to the drawing board, we need to, we need to insulate this. All 19 lambs that started on it are still alive and doing well and I do give all the credit to that machine. I clean it out every two days. Uh, I would think with more lambs on it I should probably do it every day uh, but they seem to with only two nipples going uh, they seem to keep it keep it chugging keep it working and um, so far I haven't seen any scours or bloat so I'm hoping that that's okay. Cleaning is really easy. I was a little bit intimidated at first, but it ended up being not too, too bad. You know, would those 19 lambs have lived if I didn't have the feeder? I don't, I don't know. I'm just glad I have it. There's a few reasons, a few reasons beyond the obvious, um, which is a little bit less labor. What was happening is if I do have meetings off the farm, if I do have to be away, I have to rely on my kids. My kids have jobs, so it's, they're not all that reliable. I would have to call in my labor to come in and honestly they have to drive you know 10-15 minutes to get here to feed a pail of milk. It just it was a little bit that's a little bit ridiculous. I don't know it just efficiency economics I don't I don't know I don't know. We pulled the pin we made the call and the judges are gonna judge and that's the way it is. There are different machines on the market. I know there's a Lactec machine. I think every machine is better than me. I have some good friends at Grober. Uh, that doesn't mean I got a discount by any means, but I really wanted to support Grober. You know, they respond to my emails right away, my texts, if I have questions. 
and so they're just really good people to work with so that's why I chose them their office I think is in Cambridge and yeah I can't say enough good things about them I'm feeding the Grober acidified milk replacer so I think right now I'm going through about I think I fill it every three days and it's not quite empty So we did have to winterize this machine. We did just put a, a heating coil on the garden hose and then we just built this ginormous outhouse to go around it. I think what we'll probably do is insulate the inside of it next winter for my December group. What I've found with the bottle babies is to always have a, a pail of supplement water. We want to get them transitioned off this thing pretty much, you know, 30 to 40 days I think is gonna be my goal. And also introduce the feed as quick as we can. And they were on it pretty quick. I mean, I don't want a lot of bottle babies, but more seems to be better to get them on it. I find their monkey see monkey do. If one, one or two get on it really quick, then all the other ones are like, what, what you got there? For the most part, they trained each other. I, I didn't have to do a whole lot. It was just those weak ones just to make sure they got on it. But that took a little bit of time just to, just to ensure they were getting it. What these lambs will look like in a few weeks as compared to the other ones we left with mom, I don't really know. I'm keeping track of all their weights and stuff, so it'll be, it'll be interesting just following them along and seeing how they do over at the finishing barn. See if I can get them to, to finishing weight or, or they'll never really make it past, you know, that light lamb weight, which is fine too. It's not a cheap piece of equipment, but by the time I pay for labor to come out here and do it, uh, and dead lambs, market strong. So I think you can make it pay. And I had quite a few multiples and you have to keep that kind of in, in my mind too. I mean, I might only have multiples, that many multiples once a year in, in that fall breeding period. So my goal from here on out is any you that lambs more than two, I likely will pull and put on the machine. I was talking to some producers and what they do, the one uh, gentleman said he feeds some colostrum on the bottle right away and then transfers them on after 24 hours onto the machine and they go on really good. And I, I agree, the nipples are very, very close to the one on my bottle, so I think, I'm hoping, that that should work. Again, I think it's a matter of having enough introduced at the same time, and that's another benefit of lambing all at the same time. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you do have any questions about the machine or about you know, Grober at all. I will link Grober's website in the description below. And I mean, like I said, they're great people to deal with. Just throw them an email or um, throw me a DM and I can contact, I can connect you with, with some of the girls there that I know and I can answer any questions that you have. See ya.